Hello everybody, and welcome to the Automation Fair New Products Roundup. Uh, I'm here at Automation Fair in Chicago with uh, Amy Montes. She's the director of our Intelligent Devices uh, Marketing uh, Group, and Chris Watkins, who is our Software and Control Marketing Director. And we're just going to go over uh, what's here at the show, the new products, and uh, what they deliver to our customers. So the entire show floor is really about talking about plant floor data and how our devices, our smart devices, grab that data and deliver it to folks in a context that they can act upon and actually make better business decisions, better um, uh, maintenance programs, uh, make more efficient processes. So we're going to talk about some of those new products and how they drive to that end goal. So with that, aim. Awesome, thanks what Ted. Do you got? No, I appreciate it. You know, first and foremost, I just want to say it's been a great and exciting time here over the past two days. It, you know, having the availability to bring, you know, people back together, customers together, and with us, with our partners, has, has really been great. So we're really happy and excited about the time we spent together. We're seeing a lot of new um, interest in a lot of things. I know we, we only have a short period of time that we're going to be able to talk today, but whether it be things like SOC or Data Mosaic or things like our on-machine solution, Unified Robotics, there's just a plethora of different technologies and solutions that are new and exciting that we want to be able to share to the customers. Yeah, so there's so many and we don't have that much time. So Agreed. In your estimation, what are the more exciting things? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, I would say, you know, our independent cart technology, you know, really focused um, for those solutions around, you know, motor control challenges and what we're able to provide from a solution um, perspective there. Overall, you know, we're, you know, with these unified or with these independent cart tech independent cart technologies really being able to you know enhance performance significantly for our customers right design for that modularity and scalability that customers are looking mm -hmm. um, having the ability to change you know change a recipe at the you know at the touch of the finger and drive that output is really important to customers that's cool yeah and the, the motion stuff I know there's a um, a lot of focus on safe motion. Uh, so what do we have that's new in terms of safe motion on the floor? Yeah, we have, we have a lot that's new in our, just in our safety portfolio in general. What I would say is, you know, we've been really showing off our safety system um, featuring our GuardLink and our Ethernet IP. It's a really new and exciting technology that we think is really, will differentiate us in the marketplace, so we're really excited about that. And I know that, Todd, this is one product um, that you work on. Fire this back at me. Exactly. Yeah, so. so so for those of you that don't know, GuardLink is what we call an enabling technology. So very similar to what you would see in standard control devices, IO Link. Uh, GuardLink is our um, method by which we gather data from safety devices. So um, you know, it's, it's all about taking those edge devices, the plant floor devices, and grabbing information out of those and improving your safety uh, functions. So uh, we do have, uh, for the GuardLink system, Mm -hmm. uh, we just did release a, a 432 ES. This is um, an Ethernet adapter for GuardLink. So, in the past, and actually still, currently, we uh, we had a relay, a two-channel relay that would control that safety system, that GuardLink safety system, and then we would uh, butt that up against an Ethernet adapter, and that would allow us to take that safety data and push it up to Ethernet. Uh, but what we have today is the uh, the new 432 ES, which is an on-machine version. So it allows us to take uh, that uh, GuardLink Master out onto the machine, and it actually combines the GuardLink Master and the Ethernet adapter into one on-machine uh, interface. So that's really exciting. It allows us to get um, a greater mix of in-cabinet and on-machine safety stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of new and exciting, I would say, technologies around our, our on machine that we're really excited, uh, you know, on the show floor. That's awesome. You know, I would say, um, you know, finally, from from my vantage point, I would say, you know, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Cubic. So our recent acquisition, I believe that we're day 17 into that acquisition, um, and really excited that we're able to have representatives, um, you know, now as part of Rockwell from Cubic here with us on the show floor and being able to show customers, you know, the offer of Cubic and and what it gives us, right, looking at, you know, the, you know, their modular um, enclosure system, right, and how, you know, how we provide um, switch gear and those motor control applications to customers. So, um, you know, Cubic's offer is really something that gives us that flexible and, you know, in the efficient modular control systems um, 
And that combined really with you know, Rockwell's intelligence devices and our industry expertise truly gives us that differentiation um, in the market. That's awesome. And I know that uh, we'll let Chris talk a bit here because we've been talking about, you know, you and I are where the data comes from. Yep. Um, and Chris's products are where we take that data to help us make decisions. Um, so, Chris, take it away. What do you find, uh, what's most exciting? In so there are a few things I'll touch on the first one that cuts across everything that we do at Rockwell, which is process. So expanding our capability and reach with our 5580 redundancy solution system with our new product Flex HA5000 is super exciting. It helps us with enhancements to our plant PAX solution, allows for design criteria to be cut down, helps with commissioning with these large projects, and offers our first universal I.O., which I'm super excited that, about, a cool. long time coming. So we're, we're really excited about our entry and expansion into this market with, with the likes of Plant PX and Flex HA5000. That's awesome. So what else? I know you have a ton of stuff I over do. there. I yeah. do, I there, do. There's a lot. So, so notably, um, we've also thought about how we can move into the cloud arena. Uh, Factory Talk Design Studio is a very good step for us with uh, the cloud enhancements we have to our on-prem RS Logics or Studio Logics Designer um, controller software, where we can have multi-use control, uh, multi-controller um, perspectives with modern design techniques so that we can design on the fly collaboratively as we uh, you know work through solutions with our with our yeah. control systems yeah we um, you know that this is the first year that we've had our, our um, technology and, and uh, software showcase where we actually have this monster booth where we show all the devices that grab the data and then the you know the narrative is as you move through the booth you kind of follow the path of the data so this is where the data is generated on the plant floor you know this is where we take that data and put it into a context where we can act on it and then ultimately going to that factory talk end right where we can um, you know actually analyze that data and start to improve our processes so um, I'm willing to bet that you have one more thing. Yes, actually building on what you just said with that collaborative effort um, with Factory Talk, we've introduced the visualization open architecture HMI, which allows for customers to also have collaborative capability to design on the fly, anywhere at any time, while having the ability to expand for open systems with an architecture reach that really plays nicely with our OEM market as well as serving use to our end user market. So that tandem of our cloud reach for cloud enable and cloud hosted solutions has been a really exciting addition for us as we think about expanding our core, defining the enterprise system so that we can change that data that you just talked about into working inter insights and for the enterprise folks who really want to consume awesome. that information. It's all great stuff. It is. It's really cool stuff, it's exciting. So I, does anybody have anything else? I think that's, that's the really big stuff that we were excited about. I mean, this, this group kind of right here kind of is symbolic of that story, right? So, um, so yeah, it's been great. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. And uh, thanks everybody out there Thank you, um, for joining us uh, here at the live stream. Thank you much.